Sports pregame show brought to you by Sprite. A champion could be crowned tonight. Game six of the NBA Finals here on 2K Sports, along with Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. Tonight we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Milwaukee Bucks at their home, BMO Harris Bradley Center. And when you look at the Bucks, a heartbreaking loss in Game Five. It was there for the taking. Now they refocus themselves and get ready to make up for it tonight. Scotty Brooks has been around as long as the Oklahoma City Thunder have been around in terms of uh, the head coaching position there. Uh, he's part of the DNA of that team, isn't he? He is. He's a fighter, and he was that way when he played in the NBA. And, you know, I think his mentality rubs off on the players. What I like about him is he treats his players fair. It's always level with his whole roster. Players love that, Ernie. That does it from the 2K Sports Studio. We'll see you next time. The championship could be claimed right here. Folks, it is electric in the arena for this Game 6 of the NBA Finals. So glad you could join us for it. With Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, this is Kevin Hart. We'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. Taking a look at Milwaukee. They're up three games to two. The championship trophy tantalizingly close with their fans cheering them on. Can they win one more? Well, they have two chances to do it, Kevin, to win this title. And, uh, you know, they want to do it tonight, though. Uh, the last thing you want to do is go into a game seven where so many things can go wrong. I think they're going to treat this one as if it was game seven. You know what? You're right, Steve. I mean, a game seven is kind of like penalty kicks in soccer. Anything can happen. <laughs> they're going to be trying very hard to close this series out tonight, I believe. It's so close they can start to taste it at penalty kicks in soccer. I had no idea you were a football fan, but now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So for Oklahoma City right now, he ran outside at the three with Ibaka playing the power forward. Russell Westbrook out there with Andre Robertson. And it's Adams in at the center, filling out the middle. Here's Knight following the basket by Russell Westbrook. That's good. Russell, weak defensive coverage there. And I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving such easy access to the rim. Now here's Westbrook. Pass to Robertson. Knight against Westbrook. Adams down low. Comes up empty down low. Now drumming. Here's Knight. And that one's good. Knight's got his second bucket of the night. And they'd love to have a few more easy baskets like that to kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. 
Westbrook against Knight. And Russell Westbrook again. Westbrook's got his second basket. Looks like he might be on his game today, Clark. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Green with a screen on Westbrook. Nine kicks to Honda Takumba. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Honda Takumbo's got his first basket of the night. Red hot, right out of the gates. Four for four shooting. This is the Durant. Takes the three. That's good. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Bucks have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Knight for three. Shots good. Knight's got seven points in the game. How about that? They respond to a three-pointer with a, a quick three of their own. Yeah, terrific. Great back and forth sequence right there. Westbrook drives in. Oh, that's good. Onda Takumbo passes to Parker. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Gotta love the use of the bounce pass there. Perfect feed. Thunder trailing by four. Westbrook with it. Here's Roberson. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bucks. We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in this first half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Now here's Durant. 13 feet away. And it falls over the rim and in. Durant's got five points so far. It's got to be nice for them to know that game in and game out, his offense is going to be there for him. Knight kicks to Parker. It's stolen. Inside. And Kevin Durant with the slam. Now, Clark, Clark, that is just ridiculous. Absolutely filthy. Oh, I don't remember on. ever seeing a dunk like that in a game. I certainly can't remember the last time I saw it. Oh, man, that was just amazing. Here is Knight. Following the score by Oklahoma City. And the bucket counts. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Brandon Knight. Shooting one. And what a game for Knight. He already has 10 points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. Now, a lot of times, he's one of those players who can get hot and stay hot from the three-point line. So I look for him to continue to search for shots out there. Fires for three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. And Westbrook, here we go. They get it back from outside the arc. The shot will not go. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. Nine for three. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. They'd like to continue the success they had on Friday night here. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent. But, hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. The defense looking a little bit dazed now. A ferocious throw down there. Not bad for a player of his size. Not bad at all. How about that spring coming out of those legs? And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin. A bit ago, Scott Brooks and I were able to chat. With their backs against the wall and the NBA Finals at stake, I asked him what the tone of his speech was in the locker room. He said the guys know they are up against it, but they are focused on winning just this one. If they can force a game seven, anything can happen. Indeed it can, and we'd like to see it. Kevin? Thanks a lot, Doris. Here is Ibaka. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. 15 seconds on the shot. 
Westbrook dishes to Ibaka. Plenty of daylight on that shot. I don't know how they're going to keep this pace up. Both teams on fire here early. And playing the game on rollerblades, too. Now Knight. He's got 15. On deep. Another shot. And there's the nice layup by Drummond. Drummond's got his first points of the night. That rebound and the follow kind of typify what he's all about. Just gritty, determined play. Ibaka sets the pick for Westbrook. To the left wing. Back to Ibaka. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. A different look for Oklahoma City. The Cole Braves checked in for Steven Adams. Terrence Jones comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's Jackson in for Roberson. Here's Parker. Goes back up. He lays it in. Parker's got six. Boy, he crashed the boards with purpose right there. Well-deserved second-chance points for him. Thunder trailing by six. And Westbrook, here we go. This quarter has not been his best. The defense may be starting to affect him a little bit. And it's Drummond with the jam. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Ooh, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Oklahoma City has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Green with the block. Parker passes to Drummond. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. I love the aggressiveness with their approach. Pounding the ball inside, and it's working. They are owning this game early. They are constantly finding lanes to the basket. Jackson with it. He's picked up by Parker. Jackson against Parker. Jackson kicks to West. From the high post, but he gets it back. Three-pointer. Rebounded by the Bucks. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. Drummond in the post. Working on Jones. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Smart foul there. Make him earn those two free throws instead of giving up an easy dunk. Yeah, and he's not a strong free throw shooter. I mean, with his percentage, he's likely to miss one, so that's a good heads-up play. The Bucs shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. That free throw, no good. A different look for Milwaukee. The machine comes in for Green, and it's Norris Cole in for Brandon Knight. Anthony Morrow's checked in for the Thunder. And he's good on the second. Here's Jackson. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. To halt the run. And he gets the bucket. The mid-range jumper becomes a pretty high percentage shot for him when he has that kind of space. Bucks leading by nine. Here's Cole. Parker outside. Drummond sets the screen for Parker. Pass to Drummond. The feed to Antetokounmpo. Just five to shoot. Pulls it up. Here's Drummond. Kicks to Antetokounmpo. And the Bucks miss again. In terms of rebounding, it's been a sensational opening quarter. I like sensational. That's a good word for it. Here's Cole. Back to Parker. Onto Takumbo. Dishes to Parker. Here's the machine. And the layup's good off the glass. The machine's got his first points of the game. Well, they've settled into their offense very quickly here today. Yeah, they're zoned in, making the most out of their possessions here. Jackson passes to Durant. Durant with another miss. Milwaukee leading by 11. Now the pass to Cole. There's a four-second difference in the shot clock to the game clock. Good! Cole's got his first puck of the game, and he's on the board for three. I couldn't have dreamt of a much better start than what they've had here today. Everything's worked, especially offensively, and 
What a lead they have already to show for. Here's Durant. Hits the outside fadeaway. Durant's got nine points. Now here's Drummond. Seven points in the game. Here's Cole. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And that's what's built from this early lead. Deadly shooting from behind the arc. Yeah, the D better start getting out there on this deep and soon. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Milwaukee on top, up by 15. And we'll get it going after this from the Bradley Center. I'll get back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. Guys, we've seen the Bucs really take control here early. Really good sign offensively the way they started this game out, getting a lot of hoops from close range. Yeah, it's a lot easier to get baskets inside. I know you were a three-point shooter, Steve, and a really good one, but it's always easier to score in the paint. Bucks leading by 15 on the floor for Oklahoma City, getting going here in the second quarter. International combo up front with Ibaka and Adams. Andre Robertson out there with Jackson, and it's Morrow in at the three. And it's Cole missing. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. They'd love to get more of those the easiest two points possible. And on a fierce finish. Yeah, and that's exactly how they're going to cut into the lead, Kevin. Yeah, that's why they've got to tighten up their D. And I'd be surprised if the defense allows any more free runs to the hoop like that. Green kicks to Drummond. Let's it go. Hits the jumper. Drummond's got nine. And things are going to come way too easy for him if he can get that deep post position. I agree with you, Steve. You've got to deny him the ball down there as best you can. And Roberson kicks to Jackson. Feeds to Ibaka. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And a missed opportunity right there. Definitely. I think he should have converted that one. And he gets it to go. And the Bucks lead by 17. That's what they're hanging their hat on today, fellas. Hard nose, smash mouth play down on the low block. To me, that's the key to any game. Who can win the battle in the paint? And right now, they've got it going for Here's Cole, and another three from Milwaukee. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Outside Jackson, looking to end the run, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Here's a look at the 2K leader with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Well, you look at Jay, you know what you're going to get from him day in and day out. Tell you what, his shooting percentage has been spectacular since the start of the playoffs. What a run he's been on. And that one misses. Big Daddy's checked in for Drummond. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Westbrook's checked in. And the second free throw, good. Here's Cole. He's got nine. He feeds it to Green. They set the pick. Passes it to Jay. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Jay has got it, got four points this quarter. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. He can't be pleased with all these easy looks they continue to give up in the paint. They're just way too forced as a defense right now. A lot of holes in that defense. It's a good time to use a timeout here. Thunder trailing by 21. The dish to Robertson. Screened by Ibaka. Oh, that's blocked. Jay, the pass to Green. And it's blocked by Adams. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. 16 seconds on the shot. Clock. 
And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. To the inside. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. No challenge from the defense there. Clark could have put that one through any way he wanted. And I love the choice there, partner. Going hard to the hoop for that throwdown. Yeah, that's invisible defense leading to a very visible finish. Here's Cole. He's covered by Westbrook. Six to shoot. Here's the machine. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. He doesn't need to fade away on that move. He can go straight up, make it an easier shot. Thunder trailing by 21 in low to Ibaka. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got six assists here tonight. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Mark, just piling up points in the paint. Here's Jay, and Jay gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. The lead they have is a result of how they take care of the ball, guys. I mean, that's only their first turnover. And the Bucks making a change here. Green's checked in. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Outside Westbrook. He dishes it to Robertson. Adams outside. To the inside. Robertson can't hit. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And I'll tell you what, they've turned a lot of those rebounds into points at the other end. The Bucs have made two of their previous three free throws in today's game. Two shots. And the first one drops. And the Bucs with some changes. Parker's checked in for Gerald Green. And Knight subbed in for Cole. And so he hits both. Thunder trailing by 21. Outside Westbrook. He kicks to Robertson. Screened by Ibaka. Robertson can't hit. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Jay. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The Thunder have gone 3 of 8 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. And the dunk by Jackson. Boy, look at the big ups, Clark. Major bounce there. I mean, he can fly, folks. Really fly. And we're seeing more and more of that, it seems, guys, out of the point guard spot in the NBA these days. Right on the wing. Parker outside. Just five on the clock. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. And you got to like the defense inside, really protecting the rim. Challenging shots and making his presence felt around the rim. That's exactly what he can get. This is just great anticipation. The putback jam. Oh, he had some big time intentions right there. And those plays will give your team a huge boost. Parker against Jackson. Misses off the left iron. Thunder trailing by 17. Ibaka dishes to Westbrook. There's the lob to the hoop, and Ibaka slams it in. Maybe that'll ignite him. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're geeks. That's what those alley-oops do, though. Here's Parker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Parker's got eight. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. Our timeout called by Oklahoma City. Andre Drummond's check in for the Bucks. Onda Takumbo comes in for Jay. And then for Oklahoma City, the Cobra is checked in for Steven Adams. Jones comes in for Serge Ibaka. And Kevin Durant has subbed in for Roberson. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Over the last 
break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Scott Brooks said to his team. He said their plan was run their offense through Kevin Durant. Coach reminded his guys that he is the centerpiece of their offense, and he's the one they want with the most freedom to operate. Guys, they've got a decent hold to dig themselves out of, but still a lot of time left to do it. We'll see if those adjustments help. And thanks for that story, Doris. Pass tonight. To the wing right side. And that's Jacumbo gets it to go. On the Jacumbo's. Well, it's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? Under trailing by 18. Right side, Westbrook. And there's another one for the Thunder. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. And even if it costs them some foul trouble, I mean, they need to start putting some bodies on bodies. Be physical. Here's Knight. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. Boy, that's his second foul, and he does not want to pick up number three here. That'll mess your game up for sure. Anthony Morrow's checked in for Oklahoma City. One fifty-seven left to play here in the second quarter. And that one's good. Boy, you can't run an inbounds play any better than that right there. The Thunder have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. Westbrook passes to the Cobra. And Durant, here we go. Can't connect from short range. Bucks leading by 18. Knight for three. Here's on to Takumbo. Drummond trying to get himself free. And that's Takumbo gets it to go. On to Takumbo. has got seven points. Thunder shooting 53% in the second quarter. Good ball movement yielding. Good looks. Oh! Look out! Oh, 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 oh. Wow, we're going to remember that one for a while. I know I will, Kevin. That was special. Oh, man, that was a circus dunk. Knight kicks to Parker from the arc. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Knight's got three assists tonight. This defense is giving their shooters free reign to operate from beyond the arc. That's right. I think it's time for them to start closing down. You've got to run shooters off that three-point line. And he's shaking off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Drummond sets the screen for Knight. Off the pick. And he comes off the screen and slams it through. Well, a pick was set at the perfect angle on the floor, and he used it nicely. Well, that's a play see from them a few more times. Why not? I mean, when it works, you go back to it. Make them stop you. And Westbrook, here we go. No good. All game long, guys, he's been getting it done. Really doing a nice job rebounding. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, they've had a major advantage on the glass dominating that stat. Dish is tomorrow. High post try. That is good. You know, he was smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Agreed. As long as he picks his spots, his outside shot will be hard to block, no matter who's on it. Jones against Knight. And the Thunder with the possession here. Here's Parker, and there's the rejection. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Six seconds left to play in the first half. Durant just inside the line. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. Bucks lead by 21. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. I'm here with Scott Brooks. And, Coach, how would you assess how this first half has played out? Well, we're doing a great job of um, taking the pain away, and they started hitting threes. But the first part of it, we gave too many easy layups. we got to keep the pain out and close out better on the threes. Coach, thank you so much, guys. He's always looking for more. Thank you, Doris. And, folks, don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of the second half in the third quarter.
and thanks for tuning in as we get back to the action of our broadcast here of Game 6. An exceptional performance from Brandon Knight. I like that he didn't force anything in that first half. His decision-making was really flawless. That being the case, Steve, I think they want him to be more assertive in the second half. Look to take more shots. Be a little more shot-hungry, even the tough ones. Milwaukee leading by 21. We've got Parker. Andre Drummond is out there with Green. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Knight in at the one spot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Oklahoma City shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. Pass to Roberson. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. We'll take a look at Knight. One of the best passers in the NBA, always looking to get his teammates involved. Seems like he's taken it upon his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved here in the postseason. What a passing display it's been. He logs up the alley -oop pass, and Ibaka slams it in. A little bit of a magic act here, pulling off the Houdini to make that catch and slam. Stupendous, stupendous alley -oop. Ooh, This crowd is stunned at the sight of that one. Knight kicks to Green. Parker outside. Shot clock at six. Back to Knight from the arc. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Adams has got three rebounds now in this one. Durant dishes to Westbrook. Back to Durant. Hammer home. The one hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. Well, that's part of what makes him unique that combination of power and polish. Parker kicks tonight. A three ball. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker's got three assists in the game. How about the passing there? Moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. And that's going to be a treble. Look at the turnover situation, guys. and It's not been that bad. Just a handful. And when you take care of the ball like that, that can help you build a lead. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Power timeout called by Oklahoma City. You can tell he's in a lot of pain. They'll take a timeout so that trainer can help him out. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Yes, Kevin, during that break, Coach Scott Brooks had some words for his team. He told them to be looking to attack in the open floor. He doesn't want them getting slowed down in half-court sets. He wants the fast break to be a major weapon. He also said that their work on the offensive glass is going to be critical. He believes second-chance points will go a long way toward deciding this game. Clearly, some adjustments there had to be made because the time left for a comeback is quickly running out. Kevin, over to you. All right, Doris. Just five on the clock. Can't get it to go. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. It's stolen by Jacumbo. Goes up and the dunk by Parker. I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen throughout. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into quick points. And that's not going to be able to continue if they hope to get back into this game, Park. It's a deflating play for your morale. Near the three-point line, it's Westbrook. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. They're rolling now. Five straight hoops to start this quarter. Milwaukee leading by 18. Knight kicks to Parker. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Cannot hit. Durant in the corner. Misses the three. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. Nice, silky finish on the alley-oop. That sequence, I don't think Clark could have been executed any better. Stupendous feat. Boy, I hope we see a few more of those. Under trailing by 20. Down low. 
Ibaka, the pass to Roberson. And here's Westbrook from the arc, and they call over the back here. Too much contact. Well, you like it when a guy goes hard to the boards, but you have to be smart. He went over, right over his back on that one. Not, not a good play. I think he was just over anxious that time. And the Thunder making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. The Thunder shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. The free throw drops for Jackson. And some changes here for the Bucks. The machine comes in for Green. And Jay subbed in for Ante Tacumbo. And so Jackson nails both of them. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Parker passes to the machine. The feed to Drummond. Kicks to Parker. Now the pass tonight. Here's the three. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got his third rebound on the night. Jackson up top. He has seven. And it's sent back by Drummond. Passes it to the machine. It's stolen by Ibaka. And here's Jackson. Ibaka with a screen on Knight. Left side Durant. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound. And the basket good. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Milwaukee leading by 16. Drummond with a screen on Jackson. Knight dishes to Parker. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. Ibaka's got four rebounds in this game. Jackson kicks to Adams. Here's Roberson. Ten points for him. Adams' shot is good. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. I like the way they got the ball inside there. Milwaukee's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Knight kicks to Parker. And he takes it home with one hand. He has really shot the ball extremely well, as you'd expect. Like we say, he's been making sweet string music all day long. Ibaka outside. Ibaka sets the pick for Durant. Ibaka, the pass to Durant. Bucket six. Shot, high post, and Oklahoma City again with the bucket. Well, for one, he hasn't let him down. I mean, but a few other guys need to pick up the pace if they're going to be good. Now, here is Knight. 22 points for him. Here's the machine. No good. Great D that time from Durant. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Here's Jackson. Nice pass. Run him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Jackson's got four points in the quarter. What a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, it sure was. He made a beeline for the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away. Straight to the rim. Here's Knight. Out to Parker. Jay, defended by Durant. Jay, the pass to Parker. The 10-footer. And this sir, that one drops. Parker's got 23. He has really put his foot on the pedal this quarter, doing a tremendous job leading their offense. Robertson dishes to Adams. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. And you love the concentration. Gets hit, but stays with the play. Yeah, he showed a lot right there. Plenty of concentration finding a way to get that shot to fall. Big Daddy's check in for Milwaukee. And then for Oklahoma City. Jones comes in for Serge Ibaka. And Anthony Morrow subbed in for Andre Robertson. Milwaukee leading by 11. 
there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter of the game. A shot by night, no good. That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. Jackson with it, and it's Knight picking him up. Jackson against Knight. Adams right side. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Adams has got nine points now in the quarter. The Bucks have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6-13 from the field here in the third. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bucks. And they keep piling up the assists, guys. Great ball movement. They've also jumped on any opportunity they've had to attack the basket tonight. I mean, excellent penetration. And the Bucks making a change here. Green's checked in. The Cobra is checked in for Oklahoma City. So he gets them both. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. The drive by Jackson. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Thunder shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. The free throw drops for Jackson. It's been a solid outing for Jackson. He's got 10 points, and he's managed to get four of his points by way of the free throw line. And that may not be the first thing people notice about his performance, but those are important points nonetheless. Green inside. The machine passes to Jay. Off target from three-point range. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, they were uh, very lucky defensively because there was some miscommunication there. They left him wide open. Outside, Green. There's 37 seconds left to play here in the third. Can't cash in from close range. Durant kicks to Jackson. To the inside. This one for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. There's Green with the three. Again, the miss by Green. Here is Durant. 13 points in the game. And he connects with the jumper. Durant's got 15. Eight seconds left to play in the third. Knight with it. Gets it off. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Bucks ahead, leading by seven. And we'll get it going after this from the Bradley Center. Thunder trailing by seven. And Oklahoma City. Look at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Morrow is the two with Durant, the three. Jones is out there with the Cobra. And it's Westbrook in at the point guard position. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just planks the open jumper. On to Takumbo, dishes to Green. Here's Big Daddy. And the three off target. Oklahoma City shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. They get it back. And they forced the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. <laughs> that bucket in in no time at all. Knights got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Bucks. The Thunder have gone all through to start the fourth quarter. Morrow, the pass to the Cobra. Outside Westbrook. Feeds it to Morrow. The dish to Durant. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Pocket six. That shot wide open. And 
and they have to mix it up defensively. That was just too easy. We've played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Timeout called the Bucks. Some changes here for the Bucks. Jays checked in for Green, and Cole subbed in for Brandon Knight. And then for Oklahoma City, Serge Ibaka has checked in for the Cobra. And it's Roberson in for Anthony Martin. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Jason Kidd was saying to his team. It was clear what message he was trying to get across. He said, this lead isn't big enough that we're safe. Not by a long shot. I don't want us sitting back and milking the clock. Play to win. Show some aggression. Guys? And after that last game, Clark, I'm not surprised to see him so hot. He's got it rolling right now. Here's Ande Takumbo, defended by Durant. One of the oldest players in basketball made that dunk possible. That's right. A terrific screen right there. Steve allowed him to lose his man and rock it to the rim. A bunch of love to see players working together in that, that fundamental play. Fun to watch. Right side, Westbrook, trying to get open as a buck. Westbrook missing again. And are they ever working inside? Good job on the glass. Excellent job on the glass, too. I agree. I mean, they're battling in there. They're fighting, they're scrapping, they're clawing, and they're getting the job done. What a great play. Sacrifice his body and take the hit. I thought that was excellent awareness and anticipation to beat him to the spot there. Adams, he's checked in for Jones. Adams. Westbrook, wide open. He fires. They get the rebound. He feeds it to Ibaka. He dips the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand, Jim. You're right. Uh, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Here's Cole. He's covered by Westbrook. Cole, the pass to Jay. Shoots it up. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. You know, tired legs can affect you at the defensive end. And I think that's what's happening right here. I agree, because as much offense as we saw early, we're seeing even more of it here late. And it's Westbrook again missing. Bucks leading by eight. Pass to Hans to Kumbo. Here's Big Daddy. Launches a three. Green kicks to Cole. Pass to Jay. And Roberson pulls it down. Thunder trailing by eight. To the middle. Here's the goal. Oh, oh, ridiculous. Oh, Pour it down that time. <laughs> Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now's when they need a little spark anyway. To the middle. Some changes here for the Bucks. Andre Drummond's check in for Big Daddy. Parker comes in for Jim. And Knight subbed in for Norris Cole. Andre Drummond. Green against Ibaka. Robertson dishes to Durant. Here's Adams. Can't hit. Seems like he's gotten every single rebound today. Glass eating at its finest. I mean, you're not going to see a guy with 20-plus boards too often. That's an impressive number. Very little success for him behind the arc today. Just one three-pointer in the first half and still none in the second. And that one's good. And that's now 17 points for Kevin Durant. Heads up. Aggressive play right there. He saw the smaller man on him. Took it straight to the basket. Drummond the screen. Knight passes to Drummond. It's stolen by Adams. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Westbrook leading the charge. That doesn't go either for Durant. Great close out there, forcing the Aaron shot. Well, he made it a tough shot again. He didn't give up on it, and he got a hand up. Good ball move. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. Thunder trailing by six. 
now Westbrook. Durant picks to Roberson. And Durant, here we go. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here the last few possessions. Check out the game for Durant. He's got 19 points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. Now, a lot of times, he's one of those players who can get hot and stay hot from the three-point line. So I look for him to continue to search for shots out there. Drummond with a screen on Westbrook. It's blocked, and they're able to recover. And here we go with Westbrook, end to the hoop. Rips down the breakaway slam. Tremendous stuff from a guy Clark we think more of for his passing. Yeah, but he's got tremendous leaping ability and a surplus supply, too. Well, that's a great aggressive move and two big points, too. Knight kicks to Parker all sorts of time. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Knight's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And we're trailing by three. Side Westbrook puts it up from 12, and again it's Oklahoma City. He's having quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. Milwaukee's gotten just one of four three pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Drummond sets the screen for Knight off the pick, and he goes right at his shoulders of the and shines it down. This game is going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see in a blowout, Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. Man. Look how frustrated Steve is on Well, I just, you know what, Kevin? Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up there. I mean, he threw it down with force. Here's Roberson. Well, it's definitely Steve within striking distance now. Yeah, but every possession counts. I mean, they have a chance, but they've really got to make the most of every opportunity. And Adams kicks to Ibaka. It's stolen by Green. Parker, right side. Back to Green. And another basket for Milwaukee. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that one. Under trailing by five. Westbrook up top. He's guarded by Knight. Launches it. And it's Russell Westbrook with the three. Westbrook's got 11 points in the quarter. They'll be counting on even more points from him. That's essential that they're going to pull this game out. Knight. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Adams has got his seventh rebound here tonight. They set the pick. And the foul called on Brandon Knight. That's his third foul of the game. One of the stories here, Brandon Knight getting it done today. He's dialed in from long range. they got to stay in his hip pocket and deny him the catch. On defense, Milwaukee. Ooh, well, they held a 23-point lead. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be a good play defensively. I don't think they've been as focused on taking care of the ball here in the second half. First half, they were better in that regard, so I don't think Coach is pleased with that aspect of the game right here. Parker double-teamed. Back tonight. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. Oklahoma City trailer. Westbrook up top. He's guarded by Knight to tie it up. And it's Durant laying it in. Durant's got 22 points. What's going on defensively there? A lack of focus, no concentration. Too easy. Knight dishes to Parker. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter. And that one's good. Drummond. Well, they do have the lead right now, but they're not hustling as much as they did in the first half. They've kind of put it on cruise control. They've got to rev up the motor a little bit here. What a game it's been for Westbrook. He's got 27 points and a huge helping of assists as well. Now he's a maestro, Clark. Conductor of this offense putting on a fantastic performance. So 
he gets them both. He just has such a great rhythm at the line, whether it's with a big lead the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance like it is now. On deck to Kumbo, passes to Parker. Money! Huge points. That's beyond huge, Steve. I mean, they needed that button. Desperate. Here's Westbrook. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Out to the wing. Left side, Westbrook. He dishes it to Robertson. Rocket six. Go wide open look for Durant. Connects from downtown. Somebody lit a fire under Kevin Durant. Parker. He kicks it tonight. Back to Parker. Green breaking loose. Parker's shot is off. Oklahoma City's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And foul call. Looks like they had a clear path to the basket. They'll be shooting two free throws. And they'll retain position. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that will put them up by two. There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Well, you do what you have to do to extend this game and try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management is crucial. This is where their depth becomes such an asset, Captain. He's going for the remainder of the game, but fortunately, they're able to field a very capable replacement. And that ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those free throws. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They trail by four. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Milwaukee making a switch. Twelve seconds left in the fourth. They set the pick from outside the arc. They grab their own miss, and Drummond kicks tonight. Tries again. Misses the shot. So a close game sees Oklahoma City taking this one. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome. This team kept their emotions in check and got it done. And now down to Doris Burke, who is courtside, standing by with our Jordan player of the game. Doris Thanks, guys. Kevin, what was so drastically different about this team's defense in the second half? Well, early in the game, they got some easy threes, four or five threes. And they're a great shooting team, and they're great in the paint, so we just had to make a second effort. I think the only adjustment we made was playing harder, and uh, we just got to continue to you know, keep playing together on both ends. Well, you certainly locked them up. Thank you, Kevin. Over to you guys. Thanks a lot, Doris. So, game six now complete with the series deadline. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan saying we'll see you next time for Game 7 of the NBA Final right here on 2K Sports as we leave you with the Jordan player of the game.